out of the cutter. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're playing strawberries. And eating them. More good for me. <laughs> okay. What are you working on for school, Gracie? Grace is doing spelling. Here's the remnants of math. Brianna is on her throne of laundry. The couch of laundry. And here's the crib of laundry. And there's laundry in the window. And there's laundry over here. And over here. Do you just like having everything out so you can see it all? Yeah, that's why I do that. That's smart. Actually, one reason everything's up high is because he now can pull all the laundry down. Like mess up all the piles. And so everything has to be out of his reach that I fold. Otherwise, I have to refold all of it. Today has been representative of my life recently. I had big plans for today. I have a lot of projects I need to do here. One of the biggest ones is firewood. But yesterday at work, I got a flu shot. I have to get a flu shot for work. And I woke up this morning and I felt awful. I had chills for a little while. I've kind of been dragging all day. Then I helped Brianna in the house trying to set things straight after I'd been at work. So I haven't gotten a lot done today. I cleaned up in the house, cleaned up in the yard, but I haven't done the big mowing project I wanted to do. So it's been really dry and it rained last night for a lot of the night. It's so beautiful out here today. Nice hat, buddy. Grace, you're wearing such a pretty dress. Hey, Joyful, you look pretty too today. Don't pick your nose. Today is also a reflection of life in that I'm just deliberately saying, okay, look, I'm not getting all this stuff done, but I'm gonna pick something that I want to be doing with my time, and I'm gonna focus on that. So we're kind of salvaging the afternoon. I'm taking the kids up to a real pretty spot in the woods, and we're gonna sit down and do a neat project. I see the house. To so different woods have different properties. This is tulip poplar. I love tulip poplar. It smells so good. It has all these uses. This is one of the predominant trees in the woods around here. Tulip poplar isn't very strong. This is oak. Oak is a lot more flexible. You can bend it. Tulip poplar isn't as strong as oak, but it has many uses. This is a tulip poplar leaf. And this tulip poplar tree is one of our corner markers. And it's about at least 75 feet tall. It's kind of hard because it's on a hill, isn't it? Good job though. Today I'm gonna show you a quick project with the inner bark of tulip poplar. The first thing you need to do is find some inner bark. You can either do this by wandering in the woods and finding a dead branch of tulip poplar on the ground where the bark will just pull right off like this. If you want to get a large volume of tulip poplar inner bark, the best thing to do is to cut a really young tree and peel all of the bark off of it green. And then you soak the bark in a creek or in a pond or a bucket until the inner bark separates. So what I have here is a pile of kind of wet, half rotten bark I just pulled off the branch. I also have a pile of just about perfect dry bark. I just picked this up um, just like I gathered that earlier this year. I'm gonna start with a piece of this wet bark and the first thing we wanna do is separate the inner bark from the outer bark. And that outer bark is weaker and it's gonna just crumble right off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub it between my hands and just be a little rough on it. And another good technique is to run your bark around a hard object and what this does is it breaks up the brittle outer bark and it leaves you just the flexible inner bark here. I'm switching to this dry bark. Um, this is just in better condition. It's a little bit less rotten. I feel like I you can just see the fibrous inner bark. So what I have here is a bundle of inner bark which is pretty much broken down into small fibers. It's not perfect, but for the sake of time, I think it's gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to make a cord out of tulip poplar bark. And what I'm doing is I'm twisting one hand one direction and the other hand the other way. And then it's gonna wanna double on itself as you twist it and twist it. And you're gonna let it double on itself. I'm twisting my right hand 
this way. I'm twisting my left hand this way. And the string is just twisting up on itself. You can kind of guide it as you go and let it roll together. This is the simplest way to make cord. Joyful kept telling us she felt sick, but I thought she just wanted to go back to the house and then she threw up all over under this tree. Yeah. Here's a nice little spot for you to sit. You know what? What? I know how to make people feel a little bit better or comfortable when they feel a little bit bad. So we'll have to head back to the house in just a minute. Another technique is to hold your cord in your mouth and then twist below. This just stabilizes the cord. Now, one of my bits of fiber is running out here. I'm going to take another piece of this fiber and I'm just going to add it in to that short end and then keep twisting and let it twist into my cord. I actually love tulip poplar cord necklaces. I think they're really beautiful. Kind of similar to hemp jewelry, but I love them because it's the local material. So Grace jumped in and helped me make this go a little faster. We made about four feet, which will make into at least two necklaces for the girls. There's our cord. I think it's just beautiful. You try to break it, Grace. It's pretty strong, isn't Ouch. it? If you want to clean up all the fuzziness, you can just actually burn it off. You don't have to do this. That fuzz from tulip poplar bark is a great fire starter if it's dry. Come on, Joy. Hey, honey, how are you? Yeah, I'm a little disturbed to hear Joy. Look what we made. Ooh. I used to make me things like this, but they were bracelets when we were dating. I still have them. You want to see them? How long have you had that for? Well, let me think about it. How long have we been married? So I probably had this nine and a half, ten years. Because you made it for me sometime when we were dating. Here's another one he made me. It's a little uh, loose. And this is like braided bark. Do you want to get you some water?